Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yasmin and I make DIY, home decor and organization videos every week. So in today's video, I'm back with another IKEA hack and this time I gave one of their Tarot dressers a complete makeover using only the material that I've accumulated from previous projects. We've been needing a small dresser for our bedroom closet and this fits perfectly into space and gives us the extra storage that we need. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys, here she is. This is the IKEA Tarva three drawer dresser. And I got this from the Asda section again, last time I was there at IKEA, I've kind of been getting lucky, um, but this is normally 150 and I got it for 127 and it's in pretty good condition all the drawers work just fine there's nothing majorly wrong with it there is only one little ding up here that's easily fixable plus once it's all painted and done it's not going to be really noticed anyways so we have this to work with and i kind of have my sketch here but basically i want to use a lot of the leftover um, stuff that I have from my previous project. So I'm going to be using the same moldings to kind of do some details on the drawers. And I also want to use kind of some leftover paint and stains that I have in this project to try to do this on a budget as much as possible. So we will see how that goes. Um, but I still need to finalize kind of what look I want to go for. Um, in the meantime, though, I want to get started with the whole sanding part and have this prepped for when we are ready to get to the fun part of the project. just finished sanding the whole piece with 80 grit sandpaper. I mostly use my electric sander, but then like kind of like in the corners over here with the drawers, I just um, use the sanding block and I look uh, a little crazy because did I mention it's like last week of July and it's been 100 degrees like every day for like three weeks and I've been wanting to work on this project been waiting for the weather to cool down but it doesn't seem to be happening so I'm just gonna work on it like a couple hours every day um, but yeah that's why I look crazy but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and go in with 150 and then 220 to finish it off Good morning you guys, I am back and ready to get started with this project. So the other day I finished sanding the whole piece. So right now I'm gonna get started with like measuring and cutting all the moldings. Um, but let me turn the camera around and kind of show you guys my plan. Um, and then we will get started. Okay, so I basically have a bunch of these half round moldings left from my last IKEA makeover. And I will link that video for you guys. But basically, I'm going to be using these for the drawer fronts. So I'm thinking I'm going to kind of frame the drawers. Um, so and then to, you know, on that side. And so I basically have to cut these at a 45 degree angle to make that frame. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the outer frame. And then I still haven't decided um, if I want to do more, like maybe one in the middle or whatever. So I just know that I want like the actual frame of the drawer front. So I'm going to get started with that. And then hopefully that will help me visualize it. The first frame came out really good, um, so I haven't attached it yet, but you can see it fits pretty much perfectly. 
at the 45 degree angle i found out instead of like measuring with a measuring tape um just like cutting you know one end um and then basically lining it up with the drawer and marking what that side should be um it i think it saves time and it comes out more accurate than trying to measure everything because i don't know if it's all the same we have a winner as far as the design goes so um, I built kind of this one um, to be able to visualize everything. So I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have two basically frames um, tight together on the outer edge. Um, I like how it looks, it's simple, but still kind of cute. Um, and I don't wanna like overcrowd the drawer um, fronts. They're kind of small anyways. All the moldings cut and I went ahead and lightly sanded the edges and like the top themselves so they are ready to be attached and then to be painted and then in the meantime I went ahead and did a little like wood filler um, where it was like that little dent so I'm gonna let that dry um, but yeah right now I'm gonna go ahead and use some Gorilla Wood glue and my brad nailer to attach these to the drawer fronts First drawer is done, um, all the moldings are attached. Um, a little tip here, so what I did was I attached the first um, one right here and then the opposite one, um, which I think was a mistake because then I had to kind of go back and shave off a little bit of um, the smaller sides to be able to fit them. Um, so I think for the next one, I'm gonna try to do the bottom and then the two sides and then just be able to fit the top so I don't have to keep like cutting um, small bits with the miter saw. So a little tip there if you want to try this project. tip um, I went ahead and attached the second drawer the way I said so I went in with this one and then the two sides but I still had to go in and shave off um, little bits of especially the middle frame so I guess my tip is um, you know just start from somewhere and then have your miter saw handy and then when you go to shave off just do little bits and keep like trying to do like different fittings as opposed to like cutting too much because then you would have to start over all right you guys so it has been a couple of hours i basically went ahead and wood filled the nail holes on the drawer fronts and sanded everything off cleaned everything all the sawdust and um, I didn't bother filming because that's all boring stuff, so I spared you guys from all of that. I also went ahead and taped um, the actual dresser and like kind of the cabinets. So I am ready to go in with the first coat of primer right now. I'm going to be using uh, this bin um, primer that I used on my last IKEA one. Um, and I'm just going to be using a roller and a brush. of primer is done you guys so I did um, the drawer fronts and the whole um, dresser itself 
and I just have it on its back so I could do like the legs and so I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour and then um, I also I think I told you guys I want to basically do this whole project without getting anything new so I'm gonna be using some leftover paints from previous projects so I'm actually gonna use um, this one right here which is kind of like that midnight blue that I use in our powder bathroom makeover I will link the video for you guys as well as this white one which I also use in the cabinet in that powder room so I'm not gonna get any new paint Good morning you guys, it is now Sunday and I am determined to finish this project today. So yesterday I did the coat of primer and then after about an hour, hour and a half, I sanded the whole piece with 220 grit sandpaper. Um, I did not paint last night, I realized I had worked on it for six hours in the heat so I wrapped it up. Um, so this morning I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a good wipe. And then we are ready for some paint um, to bring this baby to life. I've done the first coat of paint on the dresser and the drawer fronts and it has been about two hours which is the recommended recoat time so right now I'm gonna go in with 320 grit sandpaper and lightly sand them all and get them ready for the second coat and hopefully the second coat will give us full coverage but we will see several hours later the second coat did not give me full coverage so I went in with a third coat for both the blue and the white paint and I have let them dry properly for about two hours between coats so now I am ready for the top coat basically the poly which I'm gonna be using the same one that I used in my last IKEA um, flip and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good spray, um, let it dry for about 30, 45 minutes, do another coat, and that should pretty much be it um, for this part of this dresser makeover. Hello you guys, I am back and ready to finish this IKEA hack dresser. So I have finished obviously all the paint and all that good stuff and we've moved it inside. So I'm gonna give it a good clean and remove the tapes. And I have two options for knobs and also I wanna line inside the drawers, which I have two options for that as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys those options and I kinda play around and see which one I like better. Um, but hopefully we can finish this dresser makeover today. So I just wanted to quickly show you the options. So this is option number one um, for the knobs. It's kind of like a vintage brassy look and it's kind of cool. I think I really like this one, but I also have um, these ones and they're also cool because um, it's a pack of 12, but they're all like slightly different as you can see, like the design on them and it kind of ties in with the blue and white that I have going on on the dresser. And I think it'll just be like kind of fun and playful to have, um, you know, six different knobs. 
since none of them are matching so i think what i'm gonna do though i'm gonna like test out and see kind of how they look on one of the drawer fronts and decide from there and then for the lining inside the dressers i have um these sheets of wallpaper that i got from the dollar store um and it's kind of like this gold kind of pattern and i also have this one which i also got from the dollar store it's kind of like um flowers and it's white and black that was kind of an easy decision um so these ones come with like the screw which is kind of like a little bit bigger than normal um size for knobs um and i've never kind of had this issue um it's kind of like i feel like universal sizes and these ones don't fit so essentially i would have to like drill a bigger hole um which is totally fine um but i think i actually do like this one a lot um and it makes the piece kind of like a little bit modern but vintage at the same time and i really like the detail on here so i think i'm just gonna go with this and um since i'm just doing the gold I thought I will just use this for aligning the drawers to kind of keep it consistent since we don't really have any black in this piece. I hope that you found this DIY IKEA hack helpful and got inspired to use leftover materials to flip furniture pieces for your own space. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because it would really help out my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more DIY and home decor projects and I will see you in the next one.